hey, I'm really tired. It's Amy, the skin and lash lady. And you could see because I have dark circles under my eyes. I'm just sitting here in my bathroom and today's video is gonna be about dark circles under our eyes. So I always, I think it's my number two asked question in my emails is, Amy, I have dark circles. We're not talking about puffy eyes here. We're only talking about the discoloration. So let's, let's have a discussion about this. So women of color, many of my clients who are women of color tend to just, are, or melanin rich skin, have a lot of darkness because they have more melanin in that area. And it's really advisable for them to wear sunblock. Now, I don't have my, my, I don't know, I think I used it up, but Tizzo, and I'll link it below, makes a sunblock only for the eyes. It's a mineral-based sunblock. It's really nice. It really goes on super nice. I use it when I play pickleball. It's probably in my pickleball bag. It also doesn't irritate the eyes. So for some women, it has to do wear sunglasses, wear your sunblock. But for most of us, including my women of color, it has to do with a lot of lifestyle issues. Now, I've been an esthetician for 17 years, and I've done like 15,000 facials. And I don't know how long energy drinks have been around, but I would probably say easily 15 years. I have a large group of 35 women, up and coming professionals, really working hard at their profession, at their craft, want to get advanced in all of that. And they always say, Amy, these under eye circles, I don't even think that there's enough concealer to cover them. And we start having a conversation about what's going on in their life. And they usually will say, you know, I'm not sleeping well, I'm working late, they're, they're doing everything. And they usually walk in for their facial with a can of an energy drink. And I'll always say to them, how many of those have you had today? Remember, these are super caffeinated drinks. And a lot of them will say, I start my day with one and I end my day with one. That's a lot, right? I mean, my generation, it was about, you know, just having that black cup of coffee. So now layer in these energy drinks. And usually I know myself when I'm drinking a lot more coffee, I'm drinking a lot less water. And I know the minute, and I love my iced coffee, I don't ever want to give it up, but... I know that the minute the iced coffee is in my body and I'm drinking a large one, the dark circles come out. And I know that I'm not sleeping so well because even though I'm drinking it in the morning and it could be a decaf or maybe not, it's still affecting me during the day. So I know a lot of us may not think it's relative or saying I can't cut down on my consumption, but just do a little bit self-analysis. Am I drinking a little too much caffeine at bedtime? Am I not sleeping well? Am I really on too many energy drinks. You know, I had a, my, my, uh, a client of mine had recently said, but you know, caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. And here's the key point. I'm like, yeah, but when you constrict your, your, your veins, you're also decreasing your oxygen. Yeah. And this is what we're going to address. So, you know, it's never any one thing that fixes our skin. It's a combination of things. So I've already put on my eye serum and I use the Victoria Dian eye serum and there's no miraculous eye serum on the market. Remember, some eye serums are to help depuff, some hydrate. I always use a peptide based one because I wanna help with the fine lines and the wrinkles. And a lot of it has to do with doing massage in that area. Now we're not talking about lymphatic drainage here. We're just talking about super simple, see what I'm doing with my ring finger, light massage. So people always say, why do we use our ring finger? Well, you know, if I were to take all of my fingers and press them onto my back and palm of my hand, they're pretty strong. But my ring finger is the weakest one. So we wanna do super, super light. You can do this on clean skin, make sure you have clean hands. I've already put on my eye serum. And all I'm gonna do is around my orbital bone is just go in circles. Because what is it gonna do? I'm going to increase blood flow. And what happens with blood flow? It brings oxygen to the area. It also brings micronutrition, all the good stuff. It also removes all the stuff. Now we're not talking about lymphatic drainage, which I always talk about starting at the neck. We're talking just about the darkness in the under eye area. And if we can just do this, and you have to get into the habit, and it's not gonna happen overnight. So every morning or every night, just say, you know what? I'm just gonna do 10 circles around my my eye, my, on my orbital bone, and I'm just going to think of it as oxygenating the area. 
going to oxygenate the area. I want that oxygen to come in to help alleviate that dark circle. No hard pressure, just really light touch to give a little bit of stimulation to the area. And like I tell everybody, you have to be consistent. So try to get into the habit. Now, of course, if you're somebody that's still having it, we really have to, you know, say like, what are the lifestyle changes that we can make? Listen, I suffer from horrible allergies and I'm rubbing my eye and I have to remember not to be so aggressive or to be a little bit more diligent that on the days that my hay fever is a little bit more active, that maybe I am more diligent on taking my allergy pill. Um, but I have this theory on the caffeine and I, I've noticed it a lot. So I don't think my theory is too far-fetched, but anyway, like I said, helping with that circulation is really important in the eye area. Let me know if you have any questions on dark under eye circles or any other questions that you'd like me to make a video. I'm here to help you. I'm Amy, the Skin and Lash Lady. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.